Dutiyang pe buddhang saranang gacchami Dutiyang pe buddhang saranang gacchami Dutiyang pe dangmang saranang gacchami Sumiti Pala Pauleta Thwediya Me Sammil Neve Nui Chepe Vima Karapu Aadariya Karna Adata Tapit Tekke Inna Ita Ettar Me Dumiya Api Vaya Urdhe Vina Pata Apita Ledu Tukke Nai Ka Valak Pandu Pe Eh, mesti aja ni di titi. Hema awak tak, aku mampi kat itu alat di. Idri yang minyak itu mian. Mami itu mian itu dirga, apa tu nama? Eh, aku gawur ini, apa tu mian? Kita siapa? Mereka lagi akan nama. Abi, mereka nak buat mereka mati asal ni, dana itu. Eka kanda emak, puhunu awasan kerela, wedi dulu puhunu awasan dah. Ia mukerela tu mian. Pelanggan hukuman saha kunda sekolah muslih di Pak Ramalawi, abdul ni kian visiak dene eva gema tailor netamme. Adu mesin Pak Ramalawi abdul ni kian visi dene saha. Enggalum tata pada ke Pak Ramalawi abdul ni dah dene pasien dana te punu ni makarala. Wedi dulu punu sanda masa hari kahle kete karman thol te eva gema nak ayatan sanda yomukala ti benawa. Mema lama ni masin feminino abdul ni kawan ti dene. Aduh mesin part malak kerap tu, dana tu, ni balan ni mati bina. April happy April lah itu ni, beri dulu punu, ni mana kita, ada ni sihna. Mema pun, mema pun mati asal ni, awam bakti ni, mukke paramarthi uneh, bawa dema sammel ni, ada titi bina, burti lama ni masal, eh lama ni masal la khali kata kerala, beri beri part la, rakyat kata ni, samaj itu. Mudah hari ini sandaha, orang yang di sini kerja orang kata ibu mak tiada sih, no. Ini sandaha mana puhun wala bah di mata mai ini para mal tu ne. Itu mema ayatannya, mema ke kotak asyik sandha mema ke api daru darian sandaha, awam bagi ini terang mukti puna dikali. Kerana itu kita mat misalnya samaj ini orang kerja itu memandang kita. Then I go back to, to, to Germany and ask some uh, members, uh, is it a good idea to, to bring uh, continual help here to Sri Lanka? And so we ground in 2006 in August uh, our association Rosenkinder, Rosenkinder Fördergemeinschaft für Kinder in Sri Lanka. This is German, but it means that there are many, many members who spend uh, uh, some money. And so we start only with 50 members in, in 2006 and we start with a, a small scholarship project but uh, it gets some members more every year more and so we can start uh, in 2007 our second project not a scholarship then we uh, support special classes in the open age in Balapitiya for computer classes and uh, English and sewing, dancing and music. 
And also, I'm very happy that some of our members come with you, you today here to see this project and see also what we have to do with, with uh, the some money. Um, now we are not so a small uh, uh, association. Uh, we have now more than 160 uh, members in, in Germany, but also uh, some uh, many mem members in French. And uh, total, we bring start 2006 uh, nearly 80,000 euro to, to Sri Lanka for our three projects in Balapitiya. We have now 45 scholarships, and now we start here on this place. We can a little bit help to, to repairing the building, to make new building, and uh, we have, can also pay for, for, for the professional education center on the left side. Okay, I, I say thanks for all uh, the people who have helped here to make this wonderful building here on this place, and uh, maybe. Um, we, I think about a Ford project, uh, not, not, not uh, enough to have a, a future for the girls. Maybe we have also to look for, for the boys. Maybe we find a place and then we can make a, a, a boys, Rosenkinder uh, uh, home. Maybe the ACBC is interested in this and then we take, we take three sales in Germany, we take our, well, we have only short. We have, for the long arms we go up and then we started. I would like to thank Rosenkinder Chaman Madam and the delegates for the support uh, given to us to set up, establish this hostel. As a gratitude, we have decided to uh, name the hostel Rosenkind Hostel. So your name will be here forever. So thank you very much. You have started with a big heart. After tsunami, you came here. Then you have decided to support our innocent children. Uh, this is a very unique uh, uh, situation we are facing today. Uh, we have been ha we had been having a serious problem about our children. We have 17 homes. Uh, the children who are in our homes after 18 years of age, we can't keep them. They become adults, and we have to release them to their parents. Or oh, most of them, they don't have parents or or their relative or a friend. It's a very uphill task, so we have to bring them up and give them some good education. Most of them, they would not get the high education as we expected, uh, simply because by the age of 18, they have to leave the place, so they can't study further. Also, they know that in their mind, so they are living in worries. And as far as vocational training centers are concerned, they don't have centers only for girls. They have for mixed uh, men and women, but on our request, they, decide, they have decided to establish a whole vocational training center only for girls because of us. And it is six month courses, they train, teach, the sewing, then about uh, makeup and other stuff, I, I don't know the names, beauty culture, and of course they are one first batch has already uh, completed their six months and in that first batch we had three of our girls and we are very happy all those three girls got jobs and, and they got the hostel accommodation th those places so we are very much happy about that and uh, this month we are starting the second batch in that second batch we will be having seven of our ch home children in it and they also, so uh, idea of having the hostel is to keep our children over 18, once they are 18, uh, for six months or even one year, they can have a couple of courses, for one year, for complete two courses if they wish. And after completing it, they can get the jobs and they are free to work on their own. So they, they have a 
brighter, better future.